Hi, I'm Neil Dion from 93.7 B93. I just got home from the brand new, beautiful DNW Fresh Market at Nap in the Beltline, and I was buying some fresh produce, and I ran into a family there, and I was buying avocados. And uh, the husband said, uh, are you, what are you going to make? He recognized me, and, and I told him I was going to make guacamole because it's one of our favorite things. And he said, well, how do you do that? I always buy the little tub in the freezer section. And I got to thinking, let me show you how. It is so easy. And this is one of our favorite snacks in the summertime. First off, you've got to start with some basic ingredients, avocados, some red onions, some cilantro, some jalapeno, and some uh, tomatoes. And these things are really easy to deal with. I, what I like to do typically is I like my food kind of rustic. So I like to just uh, score these like this. Like so, then grab a spoon and get in here and just take the chunks right out of the avocado. It is that easy, just like that. And then another tip here, it's very important. These things are very susceptible to oxidation. The air, the oxygen will get to these things and turn them a nasty gray color. So take a lime and squeeze lime juice all over them. That will keep them from discoloring. Well, as I said, I typically like my food a little more rustic, and I usually mash these up with a fork because I like big chunks of avocado in my guacamole. A lot of people, though, like a more creamy guac, like my wife, for example. So I'm going to make it her way today. I'm just going to add the avocado into the food processor. Like so. And then you can kind of eyeball this. I don't know how hot you like things or how much spice you like in things. So I'm going to just add a couple heaping teaspoons of red onion. I'm going to add some jalapeno, probably a half of a jalapeno. If you like it really hot, go with a whole one. And if you like it really hot, leave the seeds and the membrane inside the pepper because actually that's where all the heat is. But you get a lot of really nice, good flavor with the uh, exterior of it. Now, the final uh, ingredient here is fresh cilantro. I love cilantro. Can't get enough of it. I'm going to save a little bit for garnish. And all of these things are now in the food processor. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt just to bring the flavors out a little bit. And a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. About 10 or 12 twists. Throw the lid on. <laughs> Mom doesn't know how to put this thing together. <laughs> I'm going to start over. <laughs> or I'm a dead man. <laughs> All right. Now that we're ready, you just pulse this thing. Give it a ride. Get the big chunks kind of beat up a little bit. I'm going to add just a little bit more lime juice so it's got a little bit more moisture in it. Again, it'll keep it fresh tasting and keep it from turning that ugly gray color. Moisture helps motivate the blade in there. All right. Now I'm going to take this mixture, put it back in our bowl. Like so. And I'm going to give you one other tip, and this really is important, and you're going to think, you know, gosh, it looks awful. What have I done wrong? But you remember how I told you a minute ago that when oxygen gets to this stuff, it turns a, a dark color pretty quickly, and it's not very appetizing. The whole trick behind that is exactly this. Take some plastic wrap. 
you think of Neil, what's the big deal? I use plastic wrap all the time. The thing of it is, if you put this on the top, like this, you're trapping a lot of oxygen in there. You don't want to do that. So what I do is I take the plastic wrap and put it right down so that it comes in contact with the guacamole. That keeps all of the oxygen out of there. And now you can put this in the refrigerator and let the flavors marry and let it get all really good tasting and chill for about an hour before you're ready to eat it or before your guests arrive. And next, after I throw this in the fridge and let it kind of get real happy there for a minute, I'll show you exactly what to do and how to present it. All right, I let the guacamole sit in the refrigerator and let all the flavors get to know each other a little bit better. Took it out, plopped it into my serving dish, added some chopped tomato, a little bit of sour cream, your favorite chips. Remember I saved some leftover cilantro for garnish? That's exactly what we're going to do here right now. And... Okay. We love this stuff, and you better turn that thing off because I'm going to get guacamole from ear to ear, and it's really going to be embarrassing. 